And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to encrypt and decrypt text in C Sharp. Um, I'm going to be showing you two methods. The first one is going to be using text boxes, um, just getting the text from a text box and encrypting it and decrypting it that way. And then the other one will be getting the encrypted text from a text box and then decrypting it. Um, so first thing you want to do is make sure that you have three text boxes as well as three buttons. The first text box is going to be where you will put the actual text uh, that you want to encrypt. Um, and then this one will also be used to decrypt text as well. Um, the second one will be the output for the encrypted text. And then the third one will be the output for the decrypted text. And then three buttons, one saying encrypt, decrypt, and then the last one saying um, whatever you want. I'm just doing upload encrypted text and this one will be used to pull the encrypted text from a text file. Um, before we get started, make sure you come over here, right click on the your name in the Solution Explorer, click on Manage NuGet Packages. Come over here, make sure that the package source is set to all, and then come over here, click on Browse, and then you want to do E-R-M-A-K-E, and it should be this first one that appears. Actually, E R A M I K E. Okay. No, I was saying something. Um, and then just make sure that you install it. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to uninstall and reinstall it, but just click install and then it will do it for you. Well, to get this started, double click on encrypt, and it's really simple. Um, all you want to do is encrypted text so this is going to be the output box for the encrypted text is going to equal the um, the text from the first text box but encrypted so make sure that's encrypted and then whatever the first text box is and see So that's pretty simple, all you need to do on that. Um, you can just copy that code and then double click on the decrypt button. And then just change this to the decrypt output. Make sure that, well actually you can leave that. Uh, just make sure that this is set to decrypt. And that's pretty much all you need to do for that part. So if I just go ahead and build this, actually don't need that. Come over here, run it, and we will just type text encrypt, and here is the encryption. And now if we put this back in and click on decrypt, here is what I put. Um, now I'm going to show you how to upload encrypted text um, from a text file and then decrypt it. Um, so come over to the code, and what we're going to do is, first we're going to actually create a variable, and we're just going to call this res, and this is going to be a message box, and the, all the message box is going to say is, would you like to save the encrypted text? Um, and then we're going to just give it some buttons, and the buttons are just going to be simple yes or no. Um, now obviously you don't have to do it this way, you can just have it automatically save if you want to, um, or not, but in order for it to actually pull something it has to be coded the way that you want it to um, with the custom directory set or you have to actually open up the um, file dialog. Um, I'm just going to do it this way with the solution and the um, directory already coded, uh, coded in. So I'm going to do if res equals dialog result dot yes 
and then we'll just do else. Else isn't really needed. You can add something there if you want to, but you don't really need to. Um, now we're going to make two strings. Uh, the first string is going to be the encrypted text one. Um, and all this is going to do is equal the encrypted output. And then we're going to make a, another string, and the string is going to be the file path. Um, and then the file path, you can make this whatever you want to. Um, I'm just going to make it equal text, and then encrypted.txt. Make sure it's a txt. If it's not a txt, I guess you can do it however you want to, um, PDF or whatever, but we're just going to do txt. Um, now, obviously, if you don't have the folder already created, you just do directory.create directory, and then we will be creating the directory called text, um, since I don't have it. Um, and then, obviously, file.writealttext, and we're just going to put the file path in the encrypted text. So this is actually going to save it to the file path, um, and it's going to save this inside of the file path. Um, then we just go ahead and do message box, and we will do um, saved ads, and then just plus file path. So that's pretty simple. Now to upload it um, from that file um, that you've created up here you're going to just come over here and copy this and paste it right here and then we're going to create another variable and this will just be called resx um, and resx is going to be the file read all text um, and reading all the text is going to be coming from the file path and we don't have to do anything else um, we don't need to include the encrypted text because the encrypted text is included inside of the file path. Um, so now we can do decrypted text, which will be the third text box. And it's going to be our package that we installed earlier. And decrypt. And this is going to be resx to string. Now, if you wanted to do this like vice versa, like if you wanted to actually save it to like something custom, you would just change this to like um, encrypt. So if you had decrypted text that you wanted to encrypt, then just change this to encrypt and then this whole process by just in reverse basically. Um, I'll probably do that in another video, but I think I've done enough in this one. Let's go ahead and run this. Click on this. And we will do once it loads. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub. And we'll just encrypt this and then we obviously want to save it. And then here it is. It actually went in there. So now if we upload the encrypted text, thanks for watching, don't forget to sub. And as you see, this is the encrypted text. Uh, we'll just go ahead and copy that. And if you look at the output for the encrypted text, um, it matches. So that's pretty much all for this video. Um, again, if you want to do this in reverse, and instead of decrypting or pulling decrypt uh, encrypted text you could pull decrypted text and encrypt it that way um doesn't really matter but for now this is all i'm going to be showing you since it does cover basically everything that you need to know on encryption and decryption um as always i hope you enjoyed the video if you would like to see something specific um any sort of tutorial comment down below and let me know I will not be doing any tutorials or showcases on any type of cheat. Um, 
for any game or any application. Um, but yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.